I needed a change of approach. I decided to go straight to the top. It was time for my first encounter with a flesh and blood, real life guru. I'm looking for the lotus building. This is not on the right, this is a diagonal. This way. Since the death of Prabhupada 23 years ago, his mission has been taken up by a team of 80 new gurus worldwide. I was off to see if Guru Jayataka Swami might be the man to set me on the path to self-knowledge. Hi, Krishna. All right, what's your name? I'm Louis. Louis. Welcome. How did you? Have a seat. OK. How is it that Hare Krishna has attracted so many cosmopolitan followers, not just Indians? Everybody has the same spiritual needs. Mm. They want to be closer to God. They want to know what is the purpose of life. And the, and the answer comes from an Indian tradition? You see, truth is not a monopoly in anybody. You sound like you might be American. I was, uh, yeah, I was born in America, and I've been living here for 30 years. Really? What Which name did you grow up under? Well, I grew up under the name Gordon. Yeah. So am I right in thinking the chief practice of, of Hare Krishna people is chanting the Hare Krishna? That's the essence of it. In fact, I even thought, was this gentleman, were you chanting it just now, under your breath? They're constantly chanting. Constantly. constantly. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 And now, why are they clustering around you right now? They're like disciples and uh, devotees who if they get the opportunity to follow me around, they'll do it. Really? <laughs> sure. Why? <laughs> Ask them, I don't know. Uh, the spiritual master gets you close to God, mm -hmm. and by his association, you know, we become happy. We feel happy when we're with him. How does that make you feel? There's no more private life. <laughs> My life I just give to helping people become God conscious. Why is this gentleman walking around carrying a tape recorder? <laughs> Because the, the spiritual master's sound vibration is transcendental, mm -hmm. so the sound vibration of the spiritual master is very important for devotees. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Let's, uh, I'd like to show you the campus uh, over here. Are they bowing to me or to you? I'm oh, just kidding. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now, what happened then? You see, he wanted to touch my feet, but actually when people touch your feet, they're touching because they want to get like a blessing. Yeah. But then it also puts their vibrations on the person. So generally, we're, it's, it's not recommended we let people touch our feet. Really? What, it puts their vibration on you? Is that bad? Well, we get overloaded after a certain point. Really? How many vibrations can you take? Also, it's, it's quite embarrassing. People touching your feet. Yeah. I could get used to it. 